Simon Okolo Chiwendu. I'm coming from Lagos. My testimony goes like this. Um, the last uh, video, the, the week before, before the week of the last uh, video, on Wednesday, my husband dreamt and he sent the vo uh, voice call, the voice message. Which week? The week of um, our last vi uh, program, the video. Okay, you mean the last uh, prophetic night of wonders? That should be in the month of our, in the program of the power of the resurrection. Power of the yes. last video we had before this one. Yes, ma'am. That should be last month in the month of May. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. He dreamed that that he went, according to him, he went out, but he didn't went out to take car. So my brother now came back with, 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 with his car and packed it. So the people were now asking him, where is, where, where, is his, where is his car? He did not answer. So he left. Coming back, for him to come back home, he discovered that there was bush, bush. Along, along the road he passed. So he still insisted in passing that bush. So as he was wanted to cross, he now saw a fence. So he insisted on coming home. So he climbed that fence. As he was trying to climb the fence, the fence now fell down. But the, my children were there. No, he didn't touch anybody. So he, he, that was how he sent that dream. But before that dream came, I dreamt that I was inside, I was in the house. People were now coming to tell me sorry. And I was crying in that dream. So on that um, um, video, mommy now said that anybody that dreamt concerning fence falling or house falling, come out. I came out. So as I was here, mommy now said that any, he, who is um, the, the, the husband that sees his or her, uh, his goose, I said I'm the one. So he asked me to do uh, white fasting, which I did. I even told him, he killed to eat. We did the fasting together. Miraculously, the goose came back to him. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Testify as praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I have another testimony. After my baby bed, when she completed one year, I didn't celebrate it. I shifted it to the upper week. So after the birthday, the month, Wednesday of it, she was pooing around her eight. She was pooping and vomiting. So we tried all our own medicine at home. That time my husband was. So, this, he seen his sister, he didn't calm down. So, around 1.30 in the midnight, we rushed out to the hospital and so, the, we were there for five, for five days. Both the drip, both the injection, both the medication, everything. She was still pooing. So, that on Sunday, like, because my brother came to church, she was on a letter mommy's uh, birthday. So, I said, oh, I just took my phone. I've been snapping her pictures since the time she was sick. So, I... What's up, mommy? I told my baby was sick with thoughtness of her body, which the baby no improvement. Mommy didn't, anytime I send a message to mommy, message to mommy, mommy doesn't open the message. Or she show sign two, two marks that she in it, but she will not open it. So I was so surprised. I ran out, and we got a disaster. It was not still okay. No, my mom was even furious that the baby is not okay and you're charging us. Okay, now and after that, let us go. Maybe we'll go for another hospital or we'll go home. I believe that I didn't even tell him that I tested mommy anything. So we'll go home around after seven. Mommy now replied me around last nine that I should not worry that else around her and I will see improvement. She will be okay. That was that was all. Since that time to now, nothing like that again. I just said I should come and give glory to God. Sister, you said you had a dream. Yes, ma'am. And then you saw people were coming to tell you sorry. Yes, ma'am. And then you had a dream where you saw a fence fail. Yes, ma'am. Is that what you said? Yes, ma'am. And then in the course of prophecy, one of uh, the last video we had in the month of May, the last prophetic night of wonder in the month of May, this year, 2018. Yes, ma'am. And then mommy said that somebody here, you had a dream. And then you saw a face fail. Then you came out. So many other people came out. You came out. And mommy now said, among you all, which one of you that they seek the husband's goose? Yes. Was that what you said? Yes, ma'am. And then you indicated that you were the one. And the mommy instructed that you should go on white fasting. And then you enlightened your husband. You let your husband know. Yes, You and your husband, you did the fasting. The white fasting as instructed by mommy. 
And lo and behold, you are telling us that immediately after the fasting and the word of prophecy from mommy, that your husband's goods were released instantly. Yes, ma'am. And the church, put your hands for Jesus. <laughs> and then your baby that fell sick, stooling and vomiting. You said you've tried on medical, everything, nothing worked. Not nothing. Nothing worked. Nothing worked. And then you sent mommy a message. And then mommy replied you saying that angels, three angels are there now. Yes, ma'am. That very soon you will see what will happen. Yes, ma'am. And indeed, you are telling us that immediately that message hit your phone, everything became normal. Yes, ma'am. The stooling stopped. Yeah, I even went Vomiting to work. stopped. I went to work on Monday. You even went to work went on Monday of it. of it. Yes, ma'am. My God. Clap your hand for Jesus Christ. Sister, please, what advice do you have for our viewers all over the world and those of us that are here that maybe we have this kind of problem that you passed through before now? My advice to viewers all over the world is that just put your trust. Our mommy here, God is really using her mindly. And anything she asks you to do, keep to it. Even those uh, spiritual items, buy them, keep them in the house, using it. God is really using those things. To, to do miraculous things in our lives. Amen. Yes, We've heard yes, it from yes. the horse's mouth that even the miracle items, you should try and get them, that God will use them too to help you out. Amen. Yes. Put your hands for Jesus Christ. Lutasel, Esapelo, Chiwendu, Simon. Elle dit qu'elle vient d'un état de Lagos. Elle dit qu'elle est ici pour témoigner ce que Dieu a fait dans sa famille. Elle dit qu'elle avait eu un rêve et dans le rêve là, elle a eu beaucoup de choses dans le rêve. Quand elle est arrivée ici, c'était dans un culte comme ceci là. La mère a donné un mot de prophétie. Elle a parlé de un méchandise que les douanais a arrêté. Et elle a déclaré. C'est après ça que les douanais a libéré cette méchandise. Elle est ici encore aujourd'hui pour témoigner à ce que Dieu a fait dans la vie de sa fille. Elle dit qu'elle était malade. Elle a envoyé un message à la mère. Après ça, la mère a déclaré aussi. Elle a dit qu'elle a envoyé l'ange à côté de elle. C'est après ça que sa fille était guérie. Elle donne comme une consigne qu'il faut que croire à Dieu et faire tout ce que la mère nous demande. Croire à Dieu. Si ça vous rejoint, je vous dis que est permanent dans le mighty name of Jesus. God bless you, church. Please jam your hands for Holy Ghost one more time. Sister, tell 